because when it comes out in the newspaper, then people are more likely to report, people are more aware, and then they sort of like report, and so there's a rise, and the media takes it and highlights. Could you tell us more about the meeting your ministry will have with the education ministry? Okay, um, we, we talk about sex uh, education, uh, and there is a, for early childhood, right, there is a, a joint committee already one uh, by our Kementerian and also Kementerian Pendidikan. So it, uh, the meeting is going to be called by um, the Deputy Minister of Education, Tio Ni Ching. Okay, we are going to look into uh, ways to reach out uh, to the students faster. You want to revamp the syllabus and all that, that will take time. Okay, but in the meantime, while waiting for you to develop new syllabus, children, uh, our statistics from Kementerian Kesehatan, uh, okay, children as young as 13 years old, remove classes. 9% of removed classes students are sexually active. 9% is not a small number. Okay? So as we wait, these numbers will grow. Okay? So we have to understand why people are doing the things they do. Sometimes we, we cannot understand, but if the data shows that they are already sexually active at 13, you will be in denial if you say don't talk about sex. You know, if they are already practicing that at the age of 13, you want to teach them basic things, they probably know better, more than the teachers. <laughs> Okay, so there's a need now to talk together. So we are we are going to talk and review and, and how to reach out to them online. Yeah. So in other words, uh, it's time to remove the taboo of sex education. Yes. Remove the taboo and, and let's not be in denial. All of us, grown-ups, let's not be in denial. Our children have access through online. I think you saw the, uh, the thing, right? These are tools that if not taught properly will damage a generation. 